Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today I want to share with you why working for someone else or even working inside your business is probably one of the riskier things you can ever do to be successful as an entrepreneur and build yourself wealth. So uh, I'm super busy. If you don't know yet, I just acquired the domain acquisitions.com and I'm moving everything in there, holding companies, the um, training uh, company, which is basically going to be Acquisitions University. Um, so lots of work out there, but I want to um, put out a few videos for you guys and just add some value. So um, in terms of having a job or working in a business inside your business, right? Because most people, they own a business and it's basically a job inside their business. And I'm not even talking about working for someone else and people like pat themselves on the shoulder that they're working for someone else or that they own 100% of their own business. And I mean, just making sure I'm recording. I mean, is it better than um, nothing? Obviously, I think you need, you need to be grateful for wherever you're at anyway. Be grateful, say thank you that you even have a job. I think that's wonderful. Uh, but you need to understand that your job isn't safe anymore. If you work for someone else, I know many, many people who thought they're gonna have a job for the rest of your, their life and they got fired. I know tons of people who ran a business day to day or started the business and they thought, oh, now I own 100% of something and those businesses, uh, they had to shut them down because unfortunately, 99% of startups fail in their first 10 years. And most people, they think that they're gonna, gonna work for themselves and they're gonna have freedom and money, but they found out that's actually the opposite. They found out that they need to work double the hours for sometimes no salary at all in the first months, especially if they're starting from scratch. Um, and it's probably one of the worst thing you can do to yourself in terms of not just your wealth, but in terms of your health, wealth, love and happiness. Because if you don't grow in all of those areas, it's going to be really, really difficult to be fulfilled. And if you don't have your finances handled, it's going to be really difficult to be okay in all of those other areas. Because, I mean, you know it and I know it as well. When you're young, everyone tell you, you got to go to school, go to college. And then after that, you're going to get a job in a big company and you're going to work there for the rest of your life because it's safe. And I mean, Many people out there thought the same as well, but they got fired or their businesses had to shut down. And especially nowadays with all the AI and all the machines out there, I mean, heck, look at Amazon. They got machines sending you products, right? They got drones now sending you products to your home. They don't need people anymore. So many people get fired. And the problem with those things is that you're just not in control, guys. If you work for someone else or you work inside your business, you're not in control of things. And it's very difficult, especially if you put all of your eggs in just one basket. I think there's something amazing about focus, but if you're putting all of your eggs in one basket, in this one job or in this one business, it's gonna be really, really difficult. And many people are just afraid to step out of their comfort zone because they never, um, try to grow a business faster by buying other businesses, which in my opinion is the fastest way to build wealth because that's how you basically diversify your assets and your wealth building process because you have different businesses that you now own. And when you have that, you're not, not just not dependent on one business or on one job. You have few businesses, even if they're in the same sector, but even if one goes down, you're still in a sector that can thrive no matter what. Because if you go for the main sectors, they're going to thrive no matter what. It's all a matter of what business you're going to have in that sector. And when you buy a few of those businesses, then you can thrive no matter what. And if you're new to this channel, this is what my channel is all about. It's all about showing you that instead of working for someone else or start a business from scratch, you can go out there and buy established existing businesses that already have revenues, profits, employees, customers, and other assets that any business have. Um, and you have you gotta have that progress, especially if you want to be a successful entrepreneur. If you look at the business, biggest businesses out there, that's how they grow. They grow by acquisitions. That's why Google bought YouTube. That's why Amazon bought Whole Foods. That's why Facebook bought um, WhatsApp and, and Instagram, because there's only so much you can grow organically, and it's very risky to have just one type of client and one type of product, which is what organic growth is. So if the biggest companies understand that, why won't you do that? And that's why I show my clients and the people here on the channel who follow me. Because um, in the end of the day in life, you either grow or you die. Life is like a, a downhill mountain. I don't believe that you can stay at one place and rest of your on your lowers. And um, yeah, it just 
a big big problem that if you get fired you you don't have much to do you're not in control and many people they think that they get 20 years of experience in one business or one job but what i found out when people reach out to me is that they basically have 20 years of one basically one year repeating repeated for 20 years so they basically have one year of experience repeated for 20 years so it's a big big problem so what you, you ask yourself, what's the solution for that? The solution is obviously, first of all, become your own boss. If you work for someone else, it's really difficult. Now, when you are your own boss and you want to have a business, you have few options, right? One of them is to start a business from scratch. And unfortunately, look at the stats out there. Most of the businesses are going to fail. And the second option is to go and buy an established business. And again, this is what this channel is all about. And like, subscribe. It's really helping my channel if you didn't yet. And... When you buy an existing business, you basically buy existing assets, existing revenues, existing um, access to customers and clients. And you are then buying something, like I said, with revenues and profits. So you can use some of that profits to then step back and have someone else to run the day to day for you. And the beauty is that you don't need millions of dollars to buy those businesses because it sometimes takes the same amount of money and time to buy a business as it is to get a new client. Because to get a new client, you need to advertise, you need to negotiate. It's the same process when you buy a business. Just when you buy a business, you use different type of leverage. So when you, let's say, try to get a client, you need to advertise, right? When you buy a business, the money that you put can be other people's money. You can use other institutions, other financial partners. There are tons of, I teach my clients like nine different ways to structure a deal. And only one of them is cash. You can use different negotiation strategies with the seller so you won't need to bring any money to the table um, you can bring money but that money don't have to be yours and it don't have to be even banks or financial institutions money because you negotiate with sellers or with other financial private partners you can bring to the table and bring in equity or some kind of a return uh, in return for their money so in the end of the day, you got to get to a point if you really want to build wealth, you got to get to a point where you're stepping back of the day to day. Because even if you have a business and you're dependent, the business is dependent on you, you don't really have a business. You have a hobby or a job inside of something that you feel like you own 100% of. And it's very delusional. And no one will buy you or at least won't buy you for a fair price unless the business is sustainable without you. And that should be your goal to get to a point where you can be the owner investor, where basically the business is independent on you and then there's enough cash flow coming in to run to hire someone else and then you can decide do you want to have a chill lifestyle step back or do you just want to do more deals and i seriously don't think that there's ever been a better time to buy one two three five ten businesses and set yourself up for success and then retire early if you want or continue to do more deals like some of my clients do because um, right now with all the baby boomers out there i mean people are retiring thousands of people retire every single day and I don't know for how long that opportunity is going to be out there. I think right now is the best time to do that. And if you're missing out on that opportunity, I think it's, a, it, it, it's sad because I'm not sure for how long it's going to be out there. And unfortunately, you see the startups out there, most startups fail. So it just in terms of risk and reward, I think the reward in buying a business is much higher and also the risk is much lower, especially if you know how to buy the right business that's established, that's sustainable, that's growing maybe slowly, but for many, many years. And you can then step in, uh, learn from the seller about that business and sector. And then even if you have crazy, unique ideas, you can bring your crazy, unique ideas into that existing business and sell those crazy, crazy, unique ideas into an existing list of clients. And you have already employees who can implement those things. So. Those are my suggestions. Uh, if you're new to this space, check out my other videos in the channel, like, subscribe. And if you want to learn more, see uh, below the video. We're going to put link for uh, more training with me. So I really hope you enjoyed it, guys, and got some value. Um, sorry for the very rushed video. I just want to edit, uh, put some value out there. I'm very super busy with acquisitions.com. I'm super excited on what's coming and it's all um, going to come back to you with tons of value that I, I hope to provide. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.